in furtherance of efforts to empower Nigerian women and defend their rights, the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs has reviewed some of their existing policies while adding new ones to aid the discharge of their duties efficiently. Speaking through the Ministry's Director of Press, Ulujimi Oyetomi, the Minister of Women Affairs, Barrister Uju Kennedy Oanenye, disclosed that they will synergize with the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation and other critical stakeholders to create mobile courts for speedy dispensation of justice on pressing matters involving women. In collaboration with Federal Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Federation and Honorable Minister of Justice, the Governors Forum, the Chief Justice of the Federation, civil society organizations, the Ministry has decided on an innovative way to enforce the Violence Against Persons Pro Prohibition Act, gender-based violence, sexual and gender-based violence, female genital mutilation, violence against children, to justice by having mobile courts for quick dispensation of justice for survivors of the for the for the survivor of the voiceless the minister further said they have resolved to create sanitary part production ventures instead of distributing the parts as was the case in the past they hope the development would enhance the entrepreneurial skills of the girl child the minister also stated that the idea of sharing gas cylinders to rural women will be abolished as it is not cost effective and will be replaced with charcoal burners. Sanitary towels, which we give from time to time to some students in some schools, is not sustainable. We have decided to change this to setting up sanitary pad production ventures. Two, gas cylinders which were being shared to rural women is also not sustainable because the ministry is concerned with who refills the gas stoves for the rural woman after the first refill is finished. The gas cylinders therefore is going to be changed to charcoal burners and biogas. The Meanwhile, the minister received representatives of National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, and other stakeholders who expressed solidarity with Barrister Oaneye on the burning issue of sexual harassment in some Nigerian university campuses. My name is Comrade Kusuman Bawakenkia, the National Secretary General from the greatest and the best university in Sub-Saharan Africa, Ahmad Bello University area. We want to once again thank our mommy, the Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, for supporting Nigerian students in this fight against gender. And what we want to tell you that we are with you and will cooperate with you 100% to achieve this goal. On behalf of um, the National Youth Council of Nigeria, Enugu State, was standing with the Honorable Minister for Gender to end sexual abuse in our campuses and even in our communities. I am Comrade Omoni Princess Alice. On behalf of Association of Nigerian Female Students, we have decided to stood our ground, to stand by the Honorable Minister to fight every gender-based violence sex for grade, every sexual harassment across institutions of learning in Nigeria. Acknowledging their presence in the ministry, Barrister Oaneye said the ministry and the students have resolved to take joint action to combat the issue of sexual assault in institutions of higher learning in the country. The minister said they will leave no stone unturned while trying to actualize justice in the sexual harassment case at University of Calabar. The students, together with the Ministry of Women Affairs, have decided that justice must be done in any case and actions, judicial actions must be taken so that that person will be called to order and others will learn from it. So we are starting this with the Calabar case because that is the trending thing right now. We are going to write, as we have agreed, yes, Wabi, 
Yes. That we are going to write to the DSS to wage into this investigation so that the prof will not go free by just that he has been sacked. It's not enough punishment. So let them go in and gather issues that will bring an end to this and the, the right judicial actions will be taken. The Ministry of Women Affairs is saddled with the responsibility of advancing civic, political, social and economic participation of women in Nigeria while constantly reviewing substantive and procedural laws that affect Nigerian women. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohamed, Top Accolade News.